Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to say some words as a closing ceremony. I wish to congratulate the organizers, Professor Chen Jinghua, Professor James Fan, Vicky, Carol, and Liu Zhu Temple with this very successful program. As in the past two years, this has once again been an amazing summer school of Buddhist studies. I also wish to congratulate every one of you on your successful participation in the program. I wish you all the best for the future and that this program will facilitate your study or your teaching when you are back to your university in the coming term as intended. No matter for what reason you have chosen to do Buddhist studies, I would like to say we are very lucky to be able to learn, to do research, or do teaching about Buddhism. One of my colleagues in France who works on Confucianism once said to me, you are lucky. Buddhist studies is widely recognized in universities as an independent discipline. Well, Confucian studies is just a subject of the Department of Philosophy. Another friend who is a specialist of Taoism expressed to me the same sentiment. He said, it's great that you can easily gather people working on different regions, languages, and in different disciplines. I can't imagine the same thing for Taoist studies. Yes, we are lucky for many reasons. One of the reasons is that Buddhism is a great civilization. It has a long history. It cuts across many ethnic and geographical boundaries. So Buddhism is a very rich field to explore, but also a very challenging object to think through. Fortunately, there are many wise and interesting persons that we may meet in the way of Buddhist studies. And there are a great number of intellectual instruments at our disposal. There is a heritage of two centuries of linguistic studies, philological studies, or historical studies. There are also new trends for studying Buddhism in the context of social scientific disciplines, including sociology, anthropology, or political sciences. In this respect, the richness and diversity of the training offered by Tianzhu program is nothing but a small proof of the wide scope of Buddhist studies and the great academic synergy it may stimulate. I would like to propose here on the last day of this summer program to all participants to study Buddhism with an inclusive approach. Which I think is the most appropriate to grasp the complexity of this religion and its historical, cultural, social, and political implications. It means that we should strive to keep open to any method, perspective, theory, discipline, if it can help us make sense of an aspect of Buddhism and its evolution. I look forward to meeting you again in the future, maybe in Paris. Thank you.